Hello everyone! My name is Ashishal Charles from the Irvington Public Library and today I'll be reading The Pied Piper of Hamelin retold by Roberto Piumini and illustrated by Varela Mariani. Once upon a time, there was a pretty little town named Hamlin. Though Hamlin was charming, it had two faults. Its townspeople were very stingy and there were too many rats. There were so many rats, in fact, that even the cats had run away. Rats dwelled in the cellars, the kitchens, the bedrooms, and even the attics. The people of Hamelin could not live with so many rats. So they went to the mayor and said, do something, but do not spend too much money. The mayor said, I will, I will, I'll even pay the bill. But he did it and the rats remained. One day, a thin stranger in a bright pointed hat strolled into town. He told the mayor, if you like, I will get rid of the rats in just a few hours. If you do, you will be well rewarded, promised the mayor. The stranger pulled a silver musical pipe out of his pocket. As he wandered through the streets, he played a catchy tune. Out popped rats, rats, and more rats. They came from the houses, gardens, and hen houses. Hundreds, maybe thousands of rats followed the Pied Piper. When all the rats had gathered behind him, the Piper set off for the country. As he played, the rats followed behind him in a trance. They swarmed like a trembling black cloud. Meanwhile, the townsfolk of Hamelin watched as the piper and the rats left the city gates. The people were amazed by the sight of the bewitched animals. Soon, the piper reached a riverbank. Still playing, he entered the water until it reached his waist. The rats dove in after him. Almost instantly, the strong, fast current of the water carried them away. When the last rat had disappeared, the man climbed out of the river, shook the water off, put his pipe in his pocket, and went back toward the city. When the citizens saw the piper walk back into town, they disappeared into their homes. Being quite stingy, they did not want to pay the piper for his services. But the stranger was not discouraged. He went straight to the mayor and said, I have freed the town from the rats. Give me the reward you offered me. The mayor smiled. Here is your payment, he said. Then in a grand voice, he shouted, in the name of all the citizens of Hamelin, I give you our greatest thanks. The piper laughed. <laughs> you call this a great reward? He asked. What else do you want? Asked the mayor. Gratitude has no price. Do all the citizens of Hamelin think this way? Asked the piper. Of course. Do you want to hear it with your own ears? Asked the mayor. Yes. I do, said the piper. So the mayor had someone ring the church bell and all the townsfolk gathered in the square. Citizens, this man wants to know if his reward for ridding us of the rats is our gratitude and our gratitude alone, the mayor called down from his balcony. What else would he want, citizens cried. So, without saying a word, the piper pulled his pipe out of his pocket and started to play. He walked down the building steps. The mayor's two children set off behind him. The piper kept playing. As he walked through the streets, other children followed. They gathered by the tens and then hundreds. 
None of them noticed the adults' cries, begging them to stop. By the time the piper reached the edge of town, all the children of Hamlin were marching behind him. Once again, he passed through the city gates. Then he journeyed through the countryside until he reached a mountain where a crevice opened up. The piper went inside the opening and of course, all the children followed him. Perhaps they disappeared. Perhaps they went to live in a new village, but no one ever saw them again. And so there were no more rats in the city of Hamlin, but there were no more children either. You can no longer hear the noise of little paws scampering through the house, but you can no longer hear the noise of children running, squealing, and playing either. The townsfolk were sad, but you wouldn't know it, for they were so stingy that they even kept their sadness to themselves. the end thank you everyone for joining me today and i will see you next time bye